Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kaden Gray, and today I would like to talk about something that's quite a sensitive subject, namely sexual assault and media. I appreciate some of you may not want to listen to this, so if that's you, feel free to click that square button over there and um, opt out now. I'm making this video because, as some of you may know, I've recently given an interview to Gay Star News on chemsex. And first of all, I would like to thank everyone who viewed it, everyone who um, addressed me directly. Um, I want to say I'm fine. I know some of the viewers haven't experienced chemsex and to them it's a little bit of a a mystery, they wonder why people do drugs and so on, and they have very straightforward answers to it, but I think it's a complex issue that we need to talk about so we can figure this out. This series has been a massive success, and if you haven't seen it, um, feel free to go on gaystarnews.com forward slash chemsex and check it out. Fantastic project, I was very proud to be part of it. There is however one thing that has been bothering me, and it's why I'm making this video. The headlines. Scandalous, dramatic. I found them too crude, too sensational. Maybe it wouldn't bother me if it wasn't for the fact that I shared this story for the first time. And in fact, if you've seen it, you may already know that it hasn't even sprung to mind, to me, that um, what happened was sexual assault and that's what it should be called. And that's why I tried to get the headlines changed, but unfortunately I was unsuccessful. And so I thought, uh, I'll correct it personally. I have full respect to Gay Star News for the way they handled the whole series. Um, perhaps except for that final one moment, which actually I found tougher than giving the interview in the first place. I'm lucky enough because I have a platform where I can press record and straighten things out if I feel like something wasn't fair. I can imagine how someone would feel if they have gone through sexual assault and a news agency deprives them of the control of their own narrative. You see, control is the defining aspect of any kind of assault. It's the very reason for people being traumatized by it. By taking that control away, what you're doing is bringing back very similar emotions. You're kind of reliving a very similar scenario all over again. I don't want to shit on anyone here. I've just been losing quite a bit of sleep over this and I really think that if you're dealing with something so sensitive, you're dealing with someone who's been through a particular type of trauma, you should be sensitive to what the interviewee may be going through. And now, I know I signed a release contract, I fully appreciate that. However, with the right to distribute, alter, release any kind of interview comes the obligation, the responsibility to be 100% truthful and real. Which means you do not manipulate the facts for the sake of getting more views. I know how media works. I've been doing my own social media for four years. And yeah, I know I'm still a novice when it comes to this kind of stuff, but this really strikes me as inappropriate. So with all due respect to all the media out there, while you're juggling stories and news, please remember you're dealing with people real people. If someone who's trusted you with their personal story, especially for the first time, comes to you and asks you to change the headline, you do it. 